And no American has seen this view from the Rocky Mountains. That's right. Most Americans live on the East Coast. But it's time now for Americans to explore their new country. So, President Thomas Jefferson, our third president, found the right two men to lead an exploration to the western coast of America. His neighbor and former secretary, Meriwether Lewis, who then brought his friend and fellow soldier, William Clark. At this time, America only owned the land that had been the 13 British colonies. The Spanish claimed the Southwest, and France claimed from New Orleans all the way to the Pacific Northwest. America has just bought the French territory known as the Louisiana Purchase. This has doubled the size of America. Jefferson is sending Lewis and Clark from the frontier of the inhabited land of America to find a water route to the great Pacific Ocean. The team will leave the edge of settled America in St. Louis, travel west on the Missouri River all the way to the Columbia River, which will take them to the Pacific Ocean. Easy, right? <laughs> now they know that these two rivers don't exactly meet, but they plan to drag their boats on land for a few hours at what's now the Idaho and Montana border. Explore. Explore. It's all so terrific. We'll follow the river to find the Pacific. We'll study around us the animals and plants and meet with the natives as we cross the land. Let's explore. Lewis and Clark made it about halfway and stopped for the winter in what's now North Dakota. There they picked up some new passengers. They invited along fur trader Toussaint Charbonneau, his Shoshone tribe wife, Sacagawea, and their new baby, Jean-Baptiste. Sacagawea had been kidnapped when she was only 12 years old by a rival tribe. They sold her to Toussaint, who freed and married her. She has not returned to her home tribe since then. Lewis and Clark will take her there. They will follow her lead to the Shoshone tribe, who will tell them how to find the Columbia River. Which way do we go? The Shoshones haven't shown. There's a fork in the river and our path's unknown. Which way do we go? Found it, found it. Everybody cheer. Put away your doubts now, put away your fears. Found it, found it. Everyone behold, we'll follow down the route that the Shoshone's told. Everybody sat down, everybody talked It wasn't very easy and words were getting lost English, French, and Hidatsa to the Shoshone language All were being used So Lewis spoke to Toussaint and Toussaint to his wife And his wife to the chief, yeah that's how it went that night Then Lewis and Clark gave a gift to the chief From President Jefferson a medal of peace But still 
one question was on their mind The Pacific Ocean was kind of hard to find So one more time they had to ask where to go Cause everything was new, yeah, they really didn't know They'd follow down the river, well at least that was the plan Until the chief shook his head and said, sorry, you can't Earlier, Lewis and Clark had been told that they would have to drag their boats for about a day to get to the Columbia River. But they actually must cross the Rocky Mountains, which took weeks. So they left their boats with the Shoshones and bought horses from them. What do explorers do? They explore. Even when the path is tough. They explore. Travel in the mountains too. They explore. No matter if the land is rough. The Columbia River was found And the salt water soon came around It meant only one thing Then they all saw the shore The American spirit of adventure was born Lewis and Clark traveled 8,000 miles round trip They added to the knowledge of America's rivers which will be vital to growth they opened trade among the Shoshone and other Native Americans. And in their journals, they described 178 plants and 122 animals that they'd never seen before, including the grizzly bear and prairie dog. But mostly, they discovered the American spirit of exploration. Explore, explore. It's all so terrific. We followed the river and found the Pacific. We studied around us the animals and plants and met with the natives as we crossed the land.